video we will be seeing the myths about the space okay so basically nasa nasa spend more money on this ag7 gravity space station this is actually a fisher man so now this pen why did they spend a lot of money in that so basically if they use a pencil lead okay so let's take a pencil lead so in the front of it so i'm just coloring it or filling it so you can see that our pencil is over here if we take our pencil guys okay so if we take our pencil there some of them wooden parts will be there so for wooden i'm just choosing okay around this color i'm choosing it so now there will be some of the wooden parts over there okay and after that finally we have and graphite what is graphite 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 is a atom made up of carbon so if you take up this diamond and all so if you take up this diamond diamond is made up of carbon so carbon so carbon when it goes to our eyes it creates larger problem so that's why they are not using pencils or ink so why what about pens so if we take up this pen this pen okay this pen ink with floats so when it floats and uh, mistakenly an astronaut go and uh, keeps in their eyes that is also create an problem so that's why they brought in pen called so i'm just changing my color so they brought a pen called ag7 anti gravity space pen so how do they made it so basically if you see that this inside it the cartridge will be inside it okay so the cartridge inside it over here is being compressed nitrogen so this is actually a compressed nitrogen so when it compressed okay so it acts on the pressure over there so if you take up our pen over here this ink over here is being compressed all the air is being out so now this uh, this ink is ready to go now it reacts like a, every single second or microsecond this pressure acts in itself so that's why when we just uh, do it like this it comes a really ink out so how much this is cost this is called Two point around fifty dollars. So now this Fisher pen is being used over there. So uh, around two point fifty dollars, this pen is there. But before that, if you see, they created a pen named. I think I think it's uh, I think it's a pencil. So that pencil was it made up of carbon. It is made up of other atoms and. that cost around so that pencil cost around 128.62 dollars so that is way too high so basically if you take a car in the us at the late 60s okay late in the late 60s it is just 500 dollars that means this is really really high isn't it so 128 dollars is really high in the 60s so that's why they didn't borrow this pen and after that they ask for an pen so after that this ag7 anti gravity space pen comes so in the many commercial areas they use this pen like in the aircraft like that they use everywhere so next myth is jones where does our uh, so where does so guys so if you take this why the when does the summer comes so our earth is round it its orbit is round but we thought that when we get the sun when when we get the summer the earth is near it so like this so uh, then means our optical will be like this okay
so this is not our optical but if we imagine like that this is our optical over here we have the sun so over here i am having the sun so this sun and here's the earth so over here we get the summer isn't that truth like this only we thought if we like if we thought like that is only truth this equal distance this is not equal distance this is so close and if we take up and do it over here this is too very far from away so this is winter but this is so if you take this this is completely wrong so then how do we get summer so let's see that so i'm just erasing everything so then what is the summer then so if you take that our earth is tilted 23 our earth is tilted 23.46 degrees it is tilted so when we tilted it and if we take an earth like this this part really goes near the sun and this part goes to the winter so for the color differentiate i'm just using um, blue for the winter and you can see this is how we get summer and winters so if we take india and there is summer over there then of course the opposite area like the us countries they will have the winters so like this only they go where they goes so now let's move to the next myth so you can see that this is how we get the light so our earth is tilted by 93.46 degrees and this is how we do we get so here in this area so in this area we get summer so this part will be full of summer so this part is summer then of course this opposite side will be winter so this is how this it works so let's erase and let's move on so can can be only seen the china wall from the space or we can see more things over there so basically uh, from the karman line the karman line is okay the karman line is in the thermosphere and we have a totally one two a uh, one two three four five layers and this troposphere we go the lot of flights goes so this is the forty thousand feet so and if you take some jets this go up to so one minute so uh, this goes up to 60 uh, 60000 feet so i'm just drawing over here 60000 feet so like this it goes and we have stratosphere stratosphere is a static layer where meiospheres uh, i mean this comets and the stuff like that burn the asteroids everything burns in this thermosphere we have lot of heat over there especially carbon dioxide Carbon dioxide causes the global warming. It traps uh, when we take this carbon dioxide over here. It traps the heat and releases in, even in the winter. So like that only. So in the exosphere we have these rockets, commercial rockets, and this thermosphere only. Our satellite star and all the stuffs was going. So if you take up these things over there. In this thermospheres only we can see everything over here so this is the karman line so this karman line is where the iss orbit so we can't only see uh, so we can't only see it and uh, so we can't only see it we can see the big cities like the london and uh, the big cities like london us los angeles like that many things you can see even the eiffel tower so you can also see the eiffel tower in paris and everything you can see from the air uh, from the space or the karman line so now let's move on so next fact so 
do we get actual uh, so do our uh, where is the space cold or hot so if we take up this uh, space basically how do we get sun is that the sun passes and flare this sun passes when it passes the flare over there we get heat so i'm just moving to this slide so over here when we the earth uh, so so when our uh, sun passes the many layers we go through many layers of it actually five layers so over here in the exosphere we have more like and in the satellite areas we have lesser and this meiosphere so i think the i think it's a meiosphere meiosphere is a coldest area so now in that area we passes through it and finally we have we are in the troposphere so when we receive that light it will be in the yellowish color because it is absorbed through every layers of our exosphere thermosphere meiosphere stratosphere and troposphere so this image the yellow in yellow in color so this is the another fact so it expects the yellow color so this is the yellow color but was it the really sun in yellow color no it's not in yellow color orange color no actually it's in the white in color as it passes through the exosphere thermosphere meiosphere stratosphere and troposphere we get the yellowish color so we are in the uh, in the yellowish color so and next of all so next of all our space like the iss goes to 156 degrees we are not in the earth so now let's take an earth over here and here is the iss So if he dies us over here, it will be around one hundred and fifty-six degrees. So it will be around one hundred and fifty-six degrees over if we are not in there. And when the ISS is friend like this area, it will be maximally going around. Okay, this will be maximally going around one hundred and twenty degrees high uh, heat. so that is why they have an bullet a proof over there so it will protect from the lights so now let's move to the next next myth so here you go so how do we get these lights in mercury so mercury doesn't have much of this carbon dioxide so we have 420 degrees it will not trap heat but if we take this venus venus is the hottest planet so okay so the, here's another one so so what is called as sun is a sun a planet so okay one minute so is a sun a planet or a star what is it so basically if you take up sun it emits the light so what it is called of course it is called the star so the planets doesn't emit any light if we take up venus so we take the uh, this venus doesn't um, emit light it takes the light and it holds the light and it releases we have lot of carbon dioxide in it carbon dioxide means venus warming so we do we we get earth uh, so in this earth we have this carbon dioxide in it so when we have this carbon dioxide in it we called it global warming but if we take a venus i think it's venus warming so i uh, they didn't i don't know so like that we we have venus warming uh, over there so that is why it's going up to 462 degrees next of all sun is 4500 degrees so in the sun basically if you see we need oxygen to burn so we need oxygen to burn these things that is burning right solar flares solar flares means burning 
I actually do not say this burning, but I will call this as nuclear fission. Because, so because um, in this uh, in the sun there is not the term called burning. It is called the term called nuclear fission. Nuclear fission. So, actually, I think you know about uh, it uh, in the. in the in the electricity fields and all they create the thermonuclear reaction so i think uh, there are many accident happen in the uh, nuclear fusion so now when it fusion ni uh, reacts we get helium and we get neutron and everything acts as a flare so that is called a solar flare so our earth is it a circle or it is in the sphere so sphere or circle so both of them are completely wrong our earth is in called a space called geoid so the term geoid means it i you can see that so if you take up potatoes potatoes are really in the bottom it are cooked and and the thing in the surface we have bended like this this is an irregular shape so that is the com called geoid so you can see over here how does this bulges so let's move to the next so do we get the real name for our stars so do we get our real name in the stars no and if you found in real star so do we get our real names in the stars so i think that is true they uh, spend a billion dollars by naming those stars so they spend a billion dollars on this star so uh, somebody i uh, uh, somebody goes to the moon and we'll send to the moon and you hold the parts of it so like that some if someone says that so we will send to the moon and you owe the quarter parts of the earth so this is true or it's false so this everything is being false so because you doesn't owe it so basically if you need to name your own star you have to find a new star so our i think it's iua so international union or i think it's aerospace so that company names the stars so that company names the stars in the space so if you found a new stars okay so let's take this star your this star is being not seen for billion years so if you name the star hey see i found a star then you can name your own name so like that only it happens and they you do not spend billion dollars on buying a star so it's completely false so next of all so next of all how do we get the weather so basically our earth traps global warming so is it so let's say if it is raining so this rainy season it is called a good climate or or a good weather we call this good climate so good climate means like monsoon rainy season that's only called the climate what is weather then weather is a changing by minutes and minutes so if we take up in this in this minute it is raining and after one minute it is uh, it is being uh, sunny so that is called the weather not a climate climate is so if you take up this climate event one month so if we get uh, let's say in the november we get rain so in the november if we get rain then that is called a rainy climate so uh, that is called a rainy climate so weather means the seconds it change so that is called a, a weather so in this in this second we have rain and our next second we have 
uh, let's say we have sun so like that we have we change it so next of all how do we get this weather so satellites so basically if you see in this moment there are many clouds happening so that means rain thunders lightnings so like that many things happen when we get these clouds so basically if you see over here like this our earth uh, it, it makes the winds and like this if we get things and here is how we get rains so next of all this is a radar map so this is called the radar takes receive satellite from it so let's take we have our earth over here and so so if you take our earth over here i'm just coloring it so if you take our earth this earth around it we have many satellites so if we have this satellite over here this means the uh, this means vertically so for the horizontally we have another satellite this is called a 3d uh, 3d print this will make a 3d print of our earth so um, this is how it makes so uh, it, it needs to take up a single thing if we take up okay so let's take up uh, here is something called india and here is the us so um, this two area we have the satellite going over here if you take up this area this only covers the it only covers the india but it doesn't covers the us so at this moment what is happening in the us it is being a doubtful so that is why they made a two satellites over here so which will create an 3d image over there so this is how we get that so now let's move the next myth So next of all, how do we, uh, yes, how do this uh, before in the late 90s, 60s, how do we get that? So basically, we get it by seeing the clouds. So why do we know this? Because the Asia's, they have, uh, I mean in the US, we have a lot of snow. And in the Europe, we have a lot of tornadoes. And in Asia, we have a lot of rain. So that is why they found, an, uh, I, they found an instrument called a Doppler radar. So this radar over here will calculate, uh, it will calculate how these clouds are moving. If it moves in this direction, if the air moves in this direction, then rain is coming. Then if, uh, if we get something called the auroras, we have called we have a called winter which will cause the snow so like this this dropler radars help from it and after that they launched a satellite over there so this john f kennedy uh, uh, is the person who actually launched a satellite to send and uh, to send the weather over there so now it's the end of the video so now thank you guys